Hey guys, I forgot to film an intro to today's video, so I'm filming that right now. Um, I'm sorry, it's like not professional and a little bit informal and everything, but I mean, I feel like an intro is better than nothing. So yeah, for today's look, I decided to do this green smoky eye, halo smoky eye, as you can see right here. And yeah, I had a lot of fun filming it. I filmed it two days ago, but I prefer this one because it just, I feel like it looks better than the one that I did first. And the footage for the last video wasn't as good as the one that I got today. So I'm glad I, ref I filmed it again. And yeah, if you wanna see how to get this look, then just keep on watching. So to start off, I'm going to prime my eyelids with my Tarte Shape Tape in Tan Sand and oh my god, I forgot my mirror. I'll be back. I got my mirror, guys. I'm just going to blend that concealer all over the lid and I'm just doing this so... We have a nice base for the colors that we're gonna start putting on the lid and the crease and that way it lasts longer and the colors don't fade as fast. So now I'm gonna grab the same BH brush that I used to blend my crease color into the crease and I'm gonna grab my Kat Von D translucent setting powder and I'm just going to set my eyelids so the colors blend more seamlessly in the crease. So now that the lids are set, I'm gonna grab my Jaclyn Hill palette and, and I'm gonna go in with the shade Chickadee. Oh my god, there I go again. No, I'm gonna go in with the shade Creamsicle and the crease. And this is gonna be our transition shade. This is gonna be our lightest shade in the crease. And it's gonna help give that gradient effect from lightest to darkest. So now I'm gonna grab this um, G24. My brushes are dirty because I tried filming this two days ago and the lighting was just horrible, like it was so bad. So I couldn't put that off. So I decided to try to film it again. So this is my second try. So now from the Jaclyn Hill palette, I'm gonna take the shade Pukey and I'm just gonna go into the crease with this. So I'm gonna take that shade Pukey right under Creamsicle. And I'm just going to try to blend the two together just to create some type of gradient effect. Now I'm gonna go in with the shade under Pukey and that is Roxanne. I'm gonna take this shade and I'm just gonna go in under as well. So I'm just taking that and I'm blending that in as well. I am taking this dark forest green shade, which is Enchanted. I'm taking Enchanted on that brush and I am just going to get that off and take that into the crease and a little lower. And 
and I'm not gonna blend it up too high because I still want that gradient effect that we're ha that we have going on right now. So I'm just gonna take that right here on the outer corner and I'm gonna blend that kind of in like a C shape. And I'm gonna take it into the inner corner because we are doing a halo eye. And then to keep that blended and that gradient effect, I'm gonna go back in, effect. I'm gonna go, can I speak? I'm gonna go back in with the Morphe G24 and I'm gonna blend that edge. Urban Decay um, brush from the electric palette and I'm gonna use this end for um, cutting the center of the crease or of the lid so we can create that um, halo effect. So I'm taking this brush and I'm taking this right in the center of the lid. I try to do my halo eyes in like in like kind of like a tornado shape so like at the top it's kind of it's bigger than the bottom and it goes smaller as it goes down so that it kind of complements the eye a little more i don't know i feel like that looks really pretty so i'm just taking that and i'm kind of cutting the crease a little bit To go in now with the lid shade and for the lid shade I am oh I ruined <sighs> so for my lid shade I am using I think it is called enchanted no I'm going in with diva so I'm gonna take this shade right here and I'm going to use this small elf crease brush I mean sorry concealer brush Wow, that's really pretty. I still don't get over it. Like, I did this look already, but I still don't get over how pretty it looks. Like, it looks stunning. shade on my lid I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna grab Enchanted yeah I'm gonna grab Enchanted and I am going to try to blend the edges with that same brush and I'm just gonna pack that on and then blend Go 
up with my Sephora Pro palette and it has like a it has like these topper shades like all of these down here like these so these four topper shades here enhance and highlight the color that is already on your lids and I'm gonna put that over top and it's kind of gonna give it like this really nice iridescent like pretty shift Put that right in the center. And just like that. And it kind of gives it like a pop. It adds something to it and I just, I really like how it makes it look. Now I'm just going to curl my lashes and Now I'm gonna put on my lashes. These are the Ardell Demi Wispies. And like I said in my last video, these definitely are my favorites. And then once the lash glue dries, obviously it'll like go oh, it'll clear up so now for the face we're, oh well first I have to clean the under eyes cause girl so now it's time for foundation oh primer JK so for my primer I'm using my Smashbox photo finish foundation primer and I'm gonna grab a pea size of that. I need a new one. And Once I have that done, I'm gonna go in with my and I'm gonna go in with my Infallible Pro Matte Foundation in the shade 108. all over my face I go in with my concealer and it's the same Tarte Shade Tape in Tansen Okay, so now I'm going to set my under eyes. With my Kat Von D translucent setting powder. And I'm just gonna blend out those creases. So I'm just gonna dust that away. So now for the lower lash line, I'm gonna go in with Creamsicle and I'm gonna take that right here and I'm just going to kind of connect it to the top part. So once I have that shade, I'm grabbing this denser um, blending brush 
This is like a really small brush that really packs on color. And I'm grabbing Enchanted with this brush and now I'm gonna go in closer to the lower lash line and I'm just gonna pack that color on and blend as I go. And kind of connect that to here so it makes, it looks like it's blending in together. brush that we used to pack the color on the lid and I'm grabbing I'm grabbing this and then I'm going to go back into this palette and I'm gonna take the diva into the lower lash line but only the first quarter into the lower lash line so only like in the lower part of the inner corner kind of blend that enchanted shade with it and now for one of my favorite parts I'm going to grab my Sephora editorial palette and I'm gonna go in to that green shade that we used over top of Diva and we're gonna apply that as our inner corner highlight and take we're gonna take that green shade and just apply it towards the inner corner. All in the inner corner. Like that. Oh, that looks so pretty, I love it. I just love how it complements literally like the whole look. Like it just looks super pretty. Now we're gonna move on to finishing the face. So for my contour and bronzer, I'm going to be using the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. And I'm going to take in the middle shade, which is called Shadow Play. Right here. And blend up. edges and everything I'm just gonna grab this equal tools big powder brush it's like a paddle kind of powder brush and I'm just going to blend that and with that. ah my sponge <gasps> I use my Kat Von D translucent powder again and I just go in under that to contour my nose I am going to take this small angled brush it's like a small blending angled brush and I'm gonna go in with that same shade shadow plate and I'm just going to contour. I'm gonna grab that small a cosmetics powder blush brush and I'm just gonna just that big off now I am taking my Becca and Chrissy Teigen collab palette I'm gonna take this one and I am going to take beach nectar so I'm gonna take that I hope it's not, it's not too dark because it looks more like a blush topper but hopefully it works for my skin tone so now I'm gonna go in with Wet n Wild um, Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in Precious Petals. I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna go in and Done. We just need the lips and 
I'm gonna go grab that. So I will be right back. So I just went ahead and put some earrings on and now for lip, I'm going to use the NYX Soft Brown Lip Pencil. And if you'd like, you can actually leave your lip like this, just alone. But I can't because I am a gloss girl, so I am going to take, gonna take my Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm. And I'm just gonna apply that all over. And that, guys, is the finished look. And I hoped you really liked this dark forest green, just smoky eye, halo eye look that I created. And I had a lot of fun filming this look. I really love how it came out. And I love how it looks paired up with this lip. It's just perfect. I just, I love everything about this look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and if you did give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe down below and I will see you in my next video. Bye!